<clears throat> Thank you. Our offering this morning, what's our offering for again? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Clarence. Our offering this morning is for Disability Concerns, which is a ministry of our denomination that seeks to help um, people who are differently abled within our churches and elsewhere, um, helps to enable our churches to care for those who are differently abled, and so on. Uh, so uh, that is our offering. As per usual, you can uh, give the offering at the back. There will be a collection plate uh, for you to give the offering to, um, or place the offering in, or you can do uh, electronic remittance, et etc. Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much again for bringing us here today. Lord, we pray that you will be with this whole entire world, O oh God. We know that we have, been, uh, we have been very blessed to not have very many cases of COVID-19 in this area. And Lord, we are very grateful for that. We know, however, of course that that could change at any moment. And Lord, we pray that you would give us wisdom as we, as we live our lives. Not out of fear, O oh God, but out of love for you and love for our neighbors. Lord, we pray that you would help us to always discern the path of love in any particular in instance. Father, we pray as well for our government leaders and our health care workers as they continue to navigate this uh, very uh, yeah, difficult, challenging time. And Lord, we pray for all of us who may be experiencing yeah, COVID fatigue, I guess they call it. Lord, there are so many things that we long to do that we are not supposed to do <clears throat> during these times. And Lord, there are so many decisions we have to make each and every day. And Lord, that can make us all pretty tired. Not only, O oh God, are people suffering from that tiredness, <clears throat> but also, O oh Lord, we know that people, there are definitely people who are struggling with loneliness and isolation. And there are people, O oh God, who are struggling against depression and anxiety. A recent poll I saw, O oh God, says that almost 30% of Canadian parents with children under 18 are struggling with depression and anxiety right now. Lord, please, please be with our families. Lord, we pray that you will help us to see and to always hold on to the reality that, there, that you have so much good in store for us. And that even when things may appear bleak to us, there is nonetheless hope for tomorrow. And beauty and love today. Lord, we pray for Verla and for Gary and David, as they grieve <clears throat> the passing of Barry. Lord, would you comfort them and all of their family and friends. Lord, we pray too that you will be with Ryan and Alicia as they have started their uh, married life together. Would you please, O oh God, Guide them and keep them in your hands. Lord, we pray too, of course. We pray too for, for Darcy and for April. 
We ask that you would bless them in their final preparations for their wedding tomorrow and their whole families as well, not tomorrow, next week. (laughs) God, we pray too that you will be with us all. May we hear what you would have us hear in scriptures. And may that help us to grow and to live our lives honoring you. We pray as well, O God, for uh, disability concerns, for that wonderful ministry. Lord, help us as a denomination and as churches and as peoples to be welcoming and to be in good community with all those who are differently abled. May our offerings be pleasing in your sight. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.